Hey guys, Sam Rhino here. Before we get this video started, I wanted to say a word from our sponsor. Okay, I don't have a sponsor. <laughs> Maybe one day. Anyway, uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I want to show you something that you could do on a hot summer day. And you don't need anything special for this. You know, maybe it's a day that <clears throat> you go to all your usual spots, you're not getting any good shots, you're not finding anything, it happens to all of us. What I like to do, instead of frustrating myself, I'll find a pond like this. This one happens to be by these office buildings and it's right in the corner of the parking lot. And all the water collects here from the rain. And uh, what I like about this particular spot is there's a lot of trees in the area. So it attracts a lot of small birds. And also right on the edge of the water, there's, uh, you know, you got the grass with these little yellow wildflowers that grow. And when it reflects into the water, it makes a beautiful background. Um, and, you know, when you first get here, what's going to happen is all the birds are going to scatter, of course. So, and it, you know, so you want to situate yourself where, you know, you're, you're in perfect position, where the light is really good. You're getting beautiful reflection in the water. That's what's going to make your picture stand out, that beautiful reflection. Um, and once you get situated, you don't want to, you want to shut off your car, shut off the radio. Shut off your phone if you can. And you want to be as still as possible because every time you're going to move or anything like that, you're going to make the birds scatter again. Uh, so you want to get situated. And, you know, it's something that you could do anytime, really. Uh, even, you know, on work days, instead of spending your lunch hour with uh, one of your coworkers that you already spend way too much time with and he's showing you his vacation pictures for the fifth time, I mean, it's something that you could do. You can scout the area the day before so you're not wasting too much of your lunch hour. Pack a sandwich, pack a lunch, and, you know, and just go out there. And it's so relaxing watching these birds splash around in the water and drink water. Um, and it's, it, it's super relaxing. You can get some spectacular shots. Um, and, you know, with, with the trees over here, you can even get some really nice shots of the birds perched in the trees. And there's trees behind them, so you're getting this really nice green background um, and another thing is because you're using the car as a blind the birds get really comfortable with you being around and they don't care that you're here um, so you you know you're getting really close to them and, and they're coming close to you actually which is what I always say let the wildlife come to you instead of chasing it because that's when they're most comfortable and you know that's really important with small birds is being as close as possible to get that detail you know, because they are small. Um, and another good thing is you can use the door kind of like a tripod. Uh, so, you know, if you're using lower shutter speed, you, you know, you have a built-in tripod right in your car. So it's something that you can do at any time. I do it all the time. You can get some uh, really spectacular pictures, you know, really surprise you what kind of photos you can get at a spot like this. And, it's, you know, it's natural occurring rain. It's not anything special that you need. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you what kind of pictures you can get here. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't take long. You know, once I shut up here, I mean, I'm already seeing a few birds that are coming in already and I'm talking. Once I stay quiet and stop talking, you know, they're all going to start coming back. It doesn't take long for them uh, to get comfortable with you being inside the car. Um, so anyway, so we'll get this started and I'll show you what kind of photos you can get and um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. And I love all your comments and questions. Uh, I try to answer every comment, every question as best as I can. And uh, alright guys, uh, I'll be cutting in and out and uh, hope you enjoy this video. Alright guys. So here's a better look of what I'm talking about. Uh, it's a big, huge puddle. I said pond before, but I, I meant puddle. And uh, it's right in the corner of the parking lot, like I said, and just all the water collects there. So I just wanted to give you a better look of what I'm talking about. Hey guys, so already, um, I've only been here like a few minutes and I just saw a kill deer just come in and a greater yellow leg shorebird. Um, so it's already birds are starting to come in. I even saw a cedar waxing, but it was still a little far out. He's a little hesitant yet. 
Uh, I'm hoping that he comes closer. Um, so I, I've only been here maybe five, ten minutes, and there's already a bunch of stuff here. Uh, it doesn't take long for them to come back. That's why you can do this on your lunch hour. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to stay quiet here so I don't spook them. But uh, anyway, I'll stop talking now, and uh, hopefully we get some good shots. All right, guys. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, you can get some really great shots and it's really simple to do and you could do it anywhere. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, until next time guys, I'm off to my next adventure. I have no idea where that's going to be, but tune in and uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. I really appreciate all you guys' support and until uh, next time. Alright guys, happy shooting and see you later.